For Wall Street Media, this is Elisa. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Exclusive video clips from today's conference in Las Vegas. That's right. We've got David Renner, the CFO of Optium Corporation, ticker OPTM, and he is discussing his products mix, the broad products portfolios, and the 2008 ramp up of their 40 gig products. Uh, uh, markets. So where do our products sit on the overall uh, network? Uh, we have products in every area from the core to the edge part of the network. Uh, at the far left are our analog cable TV products. Then moving to the right, you see more and more of our 10G and 40G transceiver products, uh, both in the metro and the core of the overall network. Uh, we have an extensive product for portfolio addressing all distances, form factors, and other requirements uh, of 10G. Rotom deployments uh, have been in the long haul and metro portions of the market uh, thus far, and we're preparing the company uh, for, the for the emerging edge market. Within those product categories, we have a very broad product mix uh, that focuses on the highest growth portion of the uh, optical telecommunications market. And the depth of our product portfolio within each of these categories is extensive. Our last fiscal year, fiscal year 07, about 80% of our revenue came from uh, our 10G uh, transceiver products, and about 20% came from our cable TV products. Rotom and 40G were relatively small for last fiscal year, as those have been ramping aggressively uh, during this fiscal year. On the 10G side, we have everything from 300 pin devices in small form factor and large form factor, uh, addressing uh, everything from the short reach all the way to long reach and tunable products. 40G, we have the broadest uh, product portfolio available in the market today. We have everything from the client side to line side applications uh, uh, in those products. And with Rotoms, we have several different Rotom products, everything from a 1x4 to a 1x11, both as a WSS module and as a line card circuit pack. <clears throat> and we've introduced all of these products just within the last uh, year or so. Uh, in cable TV, we have uh, we have a full line of 1310 and 1550 uh, uh, direct mod TDM and WDM products uh, serving uh, the HFC market. During fiscal year 08, we've been ramping our 40G and Rotom product lines uh, very aggressively uh, as those are significant uh, uh, growth drivers for this, for this year. On an overall market perspective, uh, the growth drivers are basically two Look at that. People liked what he said today uh, at the conference. They're up almost 5.5% today. Okay. Good one. I know. I like cable. Okay. There you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. We've also got Roland Thomas, the CEO of Moldflow Corporation, ticker MLFO, and he is going to discuss the strategies for near and long term growth, which include adding product initiatives that will allow for greater flexibility of use for their customers. When we look at the overall market for people that could use um, these types of uh, these types of tools, we've reached about 6,000 of the estimated 50,000 customers uh, that we believe are out there for these tools. At the same time, when we look at it in terms of engineers, we've reached something like 9,000 of the 400 odd thousand estimated um, potential engineers who could be uh, who could be using this product. So there's really a long way to go for us, but it creates um, two um, elements to our strategy. The primary one for us is having reached a large number of customers to further penetrate and get a greater number of seats through the enterprise, the broader enterprise deployment of our products within our customer base. Customers who maybe used one or two seats before um, uh, have a capacity and need to drive greater usage if we produce the products in the, uh, flexi with the flexibility of deployment that, uh, that they need. And over the last 12, uh, 12 to 18 months, We've introduced a number of new product initiatives that allow our products to be used more flexibly, flexibly by a broad range of engineers within their organisations. And so that strategy has led to a much greater um, penetration from within that customer base um, and uh, 
uh, and enables us to, at the same time, spend most of, uh, spend more of our time focusing on uh, on a smaller number of customers. On the uh, on the other side of the strategy is that there are companies that are realising that plastics are important to them. Perhaps they manufactured projectors. Perhaps they manufactured. Um, phones, perhaps uh, they manufactured laptops, so they consider themselves laptop companies. But at some point in the evolution of their business, our customers' business, they recognised that they were being successful through the flexibility that plastics gave them in their design processes. And as they go through that understanding that plastics are important and they need to be excellent at it, that creates an opportunity for us to spread the, the net and grab a larger number of customers. So we have this, customer, uh, this growing customer group as well as a strategy to um, more completely penetrate within our uh, existing customer base. Hey guys, uh, this is Moldflow, ticker MFLO. Uh, I don't know their business. I know we've worked with them quite often, but I, I, am, I have to be honest with you, uh, which I always will on the show. I don't know their business well enough. If you own these guys, um, can you please click the feedback button and tell me what you think about them. I, I saw that they were up today. They're up two and a quarter percent for the day, right? And then they were up an extra two percent after hours, right? So I'm assuming that the, he says great things in the full uh, webcast, right? Right. Which definitely. is available at it is available at wsw.com slash webcast slash B Riley Co nine. Keep sending in that feedback. Yeah, let me know. Um, do you own them? What do you think of them? Uh, please, we, we've been doing very well with, with, with our audience writing in like that, and, and that's just fantastic stuff, isn't it? It's awesome. I love it. All right. We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at WSMCO.com. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.